Today we are going to discuss how to tell the difference or the differences between a 4011 and a 4021 cylinder. As you can see, both of them have 4011 and 4021 on the cylinder, so they do use the same cylinder, but they are handed, so they do need to match the hand of the door that we are mounting it to. On the 4020, as you can see from the instructions, it mounts actually upside down on our head frame and then the arm will come under the stop and to the face of the door. So usually there is a reveal. So because of that, our rod and shoe is going to be 8 and 3 eighths of an inch long. On our 4010, it gets mounted on the door uh, facing up and then the arm goes back to the head frame. Usually this is flush, so there's no uh, reveal, or if there is, it's just a trim. So that's why uh, the rod and shoe does not need to be as long. This rod and shoe is 6 and 3 eighths of an inch long. The main arm and the forearm is going to be the same between the two series. Another difference, though, is our cover. Because our 4010 gets mounted face up, we have an open top cover uh, where the shaft and the regulation valves are. And that is going to be for the 4010. The 4020 being mounted upside down, we cannot have an open face cover. So here, our cover is enclosed with just a cutout for our shaft. I hope this helps explain the differences between the 4020 and the 4011 uh, cylinders. Uh, thank you. And thanks for watching.